guys welcome back to my channel today I am filming my very first pregnancy update for what we believe is our last baby so I'm trying to soak up this um, pregnancy throughout the even throughout the sickness um, just trying to soak it up because we think this is our last baby and I want to enjoy this pregnancy and enjoy this um, last time I'll ever probably do this so I'm hot I think I'm getting ready to take this off it is hot um, it has felt so good today um, fall weather today but it's a little hot in my house right now but today I am seven weeks and five days pregnant my days change on Tuesday so Tuesday I will be eight weeks pregnant so I'm feeling my like seven week just my pregnancy update thus far and I've gotten a lot of questions to a lot of you guys have asked so many different questions. I'm going to try to go over that as well and just try to go over how I'm feeling. What is, um, what's the development with baby this week or the past few weeks really and all of that. So let's get started with my seven week pregnancy update slash Q&A all about the pregnancy so far. So first of all, let's get started with one of the biggest questions I got was did I surprise Ethan again with this pregnancy and how did I find out and all of that. So this is how it went down. <laughs> I, we, I had an ectopic pregnancy back at the end of March, very first of April and we needed to wait three months before we tried again and we did that we were you know we made sure we were safe with it we didn't want to do anything that was unsafe and i really got pregnant like that next within two months i guess i should say um i don't know exactly but um it's the craziest thing because many many of you guys know that i've struggled with infertility um and I've struggled with loss and so many things and it's just amazing just seeing my body just be completely different than it was years ago um, when we struggled to get pregnant um, and now just like not really having trouble getting pregnant and I'm so grateful for that because I've been on the other side of it and it was not easy so I'm grateful to be on this side of it and I know so many of you guys out there are struggling with infertility, with a loss of a baby, a miscarriage, whatever it may be, I'm praying for you that hopefully you'll be on the other side of it soon as well. But I um, didn't think I ovulated the month I got pregnant. I was just, I had pregnancy tests here. I decided, actually one Friday, I was like, I have some pregnancy tests. Let me just take a test. I took the test and it was negative. So I was like, okay, maybe, you know, whatever. Um, and then Sunday, two days later, I had a couple more extra tests. So I think we were all playing outside. I came back in and I decided, okay, I've got extra tests. If I knew when my last cycle was and when I guess my body maybe would have ovulated, I was like, let me just take another one just to see. I've got extra ones. No big deal. I took the test and I totally forgot about it for the rest of the day. And we came back inside, like, it was a few hours later before I even realized I forgot to look at the test. We were giving the girls a bath. Lainey jumped in the shower in our bathroom over here. Lainey jumped in the shower, and I look over, and I was like, oh, I totally forgot. I forgot to look at my pregnancy test that I took. And I grabbed it, and I looked at it in complete shock that it was so positive. And without even thinking, I ran to Ethan and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally, I took this test earlier and I totally forgot, but look at it. Wasn't even thinking that I should have got his reaction, my reaction, but I really wasn't expecting it to be positive, honestly. I honestly and truly was not expecting it to be positive because I just got a negative a couple days before that. Um, and so we were both shocked and we were both like, great, like we were excited, but I did not film any of it because... I wasn't expecting it and I was just like in complete shock because I totally it the main that I think it was just because I totally forgot about that test and to look at the tests hours later and realize it was positive I, I literally like wasn't even thinking and just ran and showed it to Ethan without even thinking about trying to film it or get his reaction or surprise him or anything like that and so that's kind of how it went down and uh, I got blood work that a couple days later, I called my doctor. I was like, hey, I got a positive pregnancy test. I know we need to do blood work to make sure 
that's going well. Make sure, try to make sure it's not another ectopic pregnancy. The blood work went great. My levels more than doubled, more than tripled actually. And then I went for my very first appointment when I was six weeks. That's when the doctor wanted me to come to get an ultrasound to make sure that baby was in the right place. Six weeks showed a sack, but not much other than that. I was actually, yeah, I was right at six weeks, but not much other than that. So a week later, which I did vlog all this, a week later I went in, we saw a baby with a heartbeat. And so completely healthy baby, everything's good so far. Um, that's kind of how it went down and how we found out. So I actually use the Ovia app, but if you guys have another suggestion, I kind of want to download another app because this is the app I used with Millie. And I was just thinking, I kind of want to have something different to see what else something else says. So the Ovia app, I actually really like this app. Um, it says baby is the size of a raspberry this week, week seven. Don't know what week eight will be because I'm almost there. And one of the things with my app, so how I've been feeling, let me start with that and then I'll get to the app part. I pretty soon, within probably a week and a half after I got that positive test, it just really hit me. The sickness, the nausea, the food aversions, the fatigue has been really rough. The biggest thing, the two biggest things is the food aversions have been really bad this time. Like worse than my other pregnancies. Like I've always had food aversions, but this time has been so much worse and not many things have sounded good at all. I started out, um, ramen noodles sounded good. If you guys remember in a few vlogs back, my girls were eating them and I had bought them because that's what sounded good to me. So that lasted for a few days. I ate ramen noodles for probably lunch and supper, honestly, because it's the only thing that sounded good. And Sprite. Sprite has been my, like, Sprite and Gatorade. I've been really liking Gatorade, too. And then um, here lately, one of the biggest things that's been sounding good is potato soup. Like, Ken Campbell's potato soup with crackers has been so good and i've been eating that a lot lately but it's been changing so much but other than that not and yogurt okay y'all know the yo play whipped whips yogurt that's been sounding good too so other than that not much has sounded good we really i really play it day by day what sounds good i haven't cooked at all because i don't feel like i can at this point but hopefully i'll get back to that soon um we've been eating out pretty much every night, which I don't like to do, but we've just been trying to like survive and <laughs> trying to just eat what sounds good. Um, but like last night we ate barbecue for supper. It was really good. It just sounded good to me. Just, it just changes every day. What sounds good. Now tomorrow barbecue might sound nasty to me. Um, okay. But that lasted a couple weeks, the severe like food aversions and, fatigue was so bad that all I wanted to do was just lay on the couch. But I, knew, I mean, I couldn't do that all day because I have three other kids and one of them that's homeschooled and um, it was really rough as far as me being super, super tired. But this week, probably four days ago, I started, um, I actually messaged my doctor and I was like, hey, you think you could call me in something for nausea just for me to keep on hand when I need it? Um, because for a couple of days, like, I didn't eat hardly anything because I just felt, like, really bad. And I'm not saying all this. I never want to, I'm never complaining about it. And you guys know that. I'm so very grateful to be pregnant. Um, so, I'm just kind of explaining how I've been feeling. I asked him, and he did call me in something, but I, I haven't even went to pick it up yet because I don't think it's ready. I think they had to order it. But also, I haven't needed it. And just one day this week, I just kind of woke up and wasn't feeling so bad. And it's kind of been the past few days of uh, that nausea, nausea and the extreme, like I'm still tired, but the extreme fatigue has kind of not been so bad these past few days. And let me tell y'all something that's like actually been, that actually um, came up in the app that literally the day, like probably the day after I started feeling this, the app said that day that the placenta is picking up more and more of the burden of supporting the baby, meaning the hormonal toll could be less for you. And literally it couldn't be any more true for me. Like tomorrow I might wake up and feel super nauseous. And if I don't eat for a few hours, I do like this morning at church, I 
started feeling really bad because I didn't eat breakfast other than I ate uh, yogurt and that was it. And then other than that, another big thing for me that I've been eating is cereal. Cheerios has been a go-to for me. I've been eating that daily. So that's another thing. But I thought it was so crazy that like literally the day after I was like, I'm kind of start like not feeling so bad that popped up in my app. So, um, yeah, that maybe the placenta is starting to take over a little more, but normally my nausea lasts for well on into the second trimester and I'm actually taking nausea. I'm not taking medicine right now, but I normally have to take nausea medicine every day until well on into the second trimester, but could change tomorrow, but today I am actually feeling pretty good. Past few days I've actually felt pretty good. One of the other big things for me is also, it actually the past few days have been fine, actually most of this week, but I would wake up, if, or if I did, I got, went more than a few hours without eating, my stomach, and I felt like this when I was pregnant with our quads too, my stomach would feel completely empty. Like I had to go eat something right then. And I've never been like a, I wouldn't say a breakfast person, but I would wait a while to eat breakfast, but I've been having to eat like as soon as I woke up, I'd have to go fix me a bowl of cereal because I've been, my stomach just felt so empty. I just felt super hungry. Um, so that's another big thing for me too. Uh, on the app, it said week seven is a prime time for an increased need to pee, which definitely is true for me this week. I've definitely noticed that increase before this. I haven't really noticed any difference. This week, I definitely have noticed that increase, like having to get up at least two or three times in the middle of the night. If I lay down during the day to try to get a little nap or something, like I can't because I'm having to get up and pee. So now that I've kind of got my little update out of the way and how we found out and kind of how I've been feeling, um, I'm going to go ahead and answer some of the questions I actually asked you guys on Instagram and then I totally forgot to save those and I don't think there's a way for me to go back and look at all of those, but I remember a lot of the main ones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and answer some of those. The next question I got is, are we going to find out the gender of this baby? We're going to do a gender reveal. So I think when I was pregnant with Millie, um, in the beginning at least, I think I might've mentioned like how fun it would be to not find out the gender until birth, but deep down. I knew that I wanted to and Ethan really wanted to. I've always said when it's our last baby, I really want to really try to wait until I give birth to find out the gender and not find out when I'm pregnant. And so as of right now, I really want to be, um, Team Green is what I think they call it. I really want to not find out the gender. So as of right now, we are not gonna find out the gender. Not gonna have a gender reveal obviously until birth. Um, that could change. I'm not going to say for sure, but I really want to make it until we give birth. And I just think it'd be, I've always wanted to experience that. I thought it was, would be like the coolest experience to go to give birth and the baby could come out and Ethan could say, it's a girl or it's a boy. I just think it'd be just the neatest experience. And I've always said when I knew it was our last baby that I really wanted to do that. And as of right now, we're going to try to wait and not find out. So as of right now, we're not going to find out the gender. The next question I got was, do we hope for a boy this time since we have three girls? And I, I do, I would love a boy. I really would. Um, I would also love another girl. Like I wouldn't, I'm not going to be disappointed if it's another girl at all. Um, Obviously, I want to be able to experience both. So, when I love a boy, absolutely. I'm not going to be disappointed, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be a boy this time. I don't know. Um, in a way, my pregnancy has been a little different. In a way, it's been similar too. So, as of right now, I don't have, a, I don't know, I don't have that feeling either way as of right now. Um, I did tell Ethan like last week maybe or maybe the week before, I was like, I feel like maybe it's a boy this time, but I don't know. I'm not good with that. Like, I feel like even when I was pregnant with Millie, I didn't know either way. <laughs> um, so I, was, I, don't, I really don't know, but um, we would be, and if, if you ask Ethan, he's going to say, I am totally fine with either. And um, that's how I feel. I would love a boy, but I'm not going to be disappointed if we also have another girl. Okay, and another question I got was, are we buying a new home because I found out I was pregnant? And no, we actually 
decide to sell our home we decided to sell our home and purchase a new home we went under contract on everything before i even found out i was pregnant um obviously like it's such a good time because we do need something bigger i feel like um and but it was not it was we're not buying a new home because i found out i was pregnant because we went under contract with everything before i even found out i was pregnant um we didn't we did know we wanted a fourth and we knew that we really wanted something a little bit bigger um so but as we had no idea we were pregnant at the time when we decided to sell and buy a new home another question i got is am i going to continue weight watchers while pregnant and first of all weight watchers is not intended for pregnant women um i know i could definitely stick to the guidelines and eat if you guys hear the kids they're playing in there with ethan while i film this video um but i knew with Millie, i kept like trying to stick to it a little bit and trying to do my best and i just failed miserably at it um honestly at this point i'm eating what sounds good i'm not eating a ton during the day i'm not snacking like at all honestly other than yogurt um but as of right now no i am absolutely not following any kind of diet plan i'm not following weight watchers at all um obviously i want to watch what i eat and not gain a bunch of weight like i did with mealy but right now i'm just eating what sounds good and that is soup and gatorade and yogurt for the most and cereal for the most part at this point so no i don't plan on it um as my appetite gets back and other things start uh sounding better i do want to kind of watch what i eat but as of right now i'm just trying to survive with what sounds good i cannot for the life of me remember the other questions those were the biggest questions that i had got so many people want to know how we found out if i surprised ethan about the new home and the new baby are we going to find out the gender are we hoping for either way those were the biggest questions that i got and about weight watchers those were the biggest ones that i got but if i left anything out i will try to answer um on my next pregnancy update i don't know how often i'll do these you'll have to let me know how often i should do them how often y'all like watching them i'm thinking maybe my next one be like 10 weeks maybe um or maybe a little bit after that i don't know like i'm not definitely not going to do them like weekly i think with millie i did them like bi-weekly every two weeks um anyways so let me go ahead and show you guys the belly keep in mind Number one, I've had, I've given birth to six babies. This is my seventh baby I will give birth to. Um, also keep in mind, yeah, keep in mind that and keep in mind my stomach's not flat. My stomach's never been flat. And um, everybody says you show with the more babies you have. So my belly does look like I have a little bump, <laughs> but I think part of it is due to um, the number of kids I've had in my belly and my belly just i've never been super small so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that all right y'all so maybe you can see from there i can't get the best angle in this room but um also keep in mind it is like five o'clock in the evening so i have eight today and that's a one of the um if it was in the morning my belly would probably look a little bit smaller but this is seven almost eight weeks i feel like this is not a good angle but this is what i'm getting as of right now i think maybe the next update will be in our new house so i'm excited for that but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so much for all the love that you've shown us for this baby finding out finding out we were pregnant you guys have blown me away with all your support and all your love and all your congratulations you guys have been awesome so i'm excited to bring you guys along this journey for this baby but i hope you guys enjoyed it give that a thumbs up if you're new to my channel i hope you'll subscribe and i'll see you guys soon for another video bye